Hi, welcome to another how-to video. Today we're going to be looking at how to download and use the CAT Monitor Simulator for the next-gen CAT Mini Excavators. In order to get the app, you go to where you normally get your apps from, whatever app store that you use. You search for CAT Monitor Simulator and download the app. Once you have the app downloaded, it's very useful so that you can use it on your phone or your laptop to understand the monitor that's in your machine. You can use that to learn how to set up your shortcuts, how to play around with your operator settings so you can get very familiar with your piece of equipment on your phone or your laptop first. So if you've got a new uh, employee coming in, for instance, you can walk them through using the simulator long before you get them on the machine. You can also learn some of those features and functions in that monitor that will help you to get the most out of your machine as an owner. As you can see, I've downloaded the app. I've got it here on this uh, large monitor, and I'm just gonna walk you through a couple of the functions, which is only a small part of what you'll be able to do with this. So you'll see straight away, the shortcuts are very important. Shortcuts are the things that you're gonna use all the time as you interact with the monitor and with your machine. We've got a whole load of random shortcuts on there. So the first thing you want to do is you go and set those shortcuts up. You'd go into the main menu. You would scroll down to display settings and say OK. And then you'll scroll all the way down to the bottom to shortcut settings and say OK. You'll see that you've got four shortcuts listed. You've actually got one more below. So you've got five shortcuts in total that you can set. So shortcut setting number one, we're going to say OK. And the first thing you want to put in shortcut setting number one is your pattern changer. We're going to say OK to that. We go down to shortcut setting number two, say OK. And on this one, we want to scroll all the way down towards the bottom and you will see stick steer modes. And we're going to say OK to that one. Shortcut setting number three. We're going to scroll down until we see cruise control and say OK to that one. Number four. We will going to, we've got a thumb on the machine, so I think in number four, let's go in there and put Oxflow One Adjust. There we go. And in number five, scroll all the way down to the bottom, say OK. And this machine that we're setting up is going to have a hydraulic coupler, quick coupler, so we're going to say OK to that. Hit the home button. Now, if we look at our shortcuts, you'll see you've got two crosses, your cruise control, Oxflow, and your hydraulic coupler. So just having a quick look at that, you see a cross with the X in the left hand side, that's your pattern changer. You want excavator mode or do you want backer loader mode and you can change it. Go back one. Okay, this is your stick steer mode. When you're in stick steer, your right hand joystick can either be an excavator, means you can operate your linkage, your boom stick and bucket in your right hand joystick, or you can select blade. I'm gonna change this one, the blade and say, okay to that. Number three. Cruise control, just like on your car or truck. Cruise control ready, you then set your desired speed, hit the trigger, this goes green, you're now in cruise control. To get out of cruise control, you can hit the button, hit the travel levers, pull back on the joystick. All of those things take you immediately out of cruise control. Number four, aux flow adjust. Got a thumb on the machine, you can set the percentage of the flow for that thumb. If you're handling debris, you're not caring about it, 100%, say OK. Or you can take it down if you're handling landscape, rock, or materials you don't want to damage. You can slow that thumb control down and say OK. Uh, you will also find a number of pre-settings in there for different attachments on the machine. So recommended settings, and you can go in there and change all of those as well. And if you have a hydraulic coupler on the machine, we've got animation to walk you through. Unlock the rear wedge, unlock the front wedge, It'll lock itself back up in 10 seconds, or we'll lock it, and then we'll lock the rear wedge. Okay, as well as the animation, you've got tones on the machine, so you know when uh, that's all locked up and you're all good, keeping it nice and safe. So we're gonna hit the home button, and there's all your shortcuts, how you're gonna use the machine most of the time. Now, using Simulator, you can also go in, look at the main menu. You can have a look around in this and see what other functionality is in the monitor. Now, if you're going to change something in the display, it's going to be under display settings. If you're going to change something that happens on the machine, it's going to be under machine settings. So let's go into machine settings and have a quick look. In machine settings, control mode, auto idle, machine lighting. Control mode is going to be the tab that you use the most. 
So let's go into there and have a look. Pattern changer stick steer modes, we've set shortcuts up for those so we can go scroll past those, fine grading. If you've got a heavy config on the machine, you can actually turn fine grading on and then the machine will know that it's got a heavy config on it and will compensate for that. If you just got normal configuration on the machine, you can turn it off. So green is on, obviously gray is off. Now if we scroll down a little bit further, another thing that you can do on the next gen machines is implement speed and joystick response. Joystick response is like using a controller with your thumbs and your fingers in your home gaming systems. You can change what the response to your fingers and thumbs are. Same thing on the machine with the joystick, you can change that response. What most customers and operators will use though is the implement speed. We can say okay to implement speed and have a look, slow, normal or fast. You can change all the linkage with one touch of a button to have slow linkage, normal linkage or fast linkage. That's great. Now you can also go into the advanced settings of this and say okay and you can change single functions like the stick, boom, swing or bucket and you can have it as normal, slow or fast. So say for instance you're on a highway job, you're doing a lot of truck loading, you can actually make the stick fast so that you're clearing the top and the sideboards of the truck and loading a lot more quicker and efficiently. We ship the machines in normal but as an operator you can customize this and make that machine customizable to yourself or how you feel you like to operate with the equipment. So if you download and use the CAT monitor simulator, you're going to be able to learn how to set up those shortcuts. You're going to be able to go in and look at the operator customizable settings and work out how you're going to interact with the machine. And you're going to be able to go in and go through all those different menus and learn about all the features and benefits you can get from your machine long before you actually get in to use it. So download it, use it, so that when you get in the machine, you're gonna be ready to go. For further information, contact your local cat dealer.